I'm Tanana Reeb Du. I'm Nisi Shaw. I am Wayne Brady. I'm Linda Addison. I'm Piper J. Drake. I'm John Jennings. I'm Sheree Renee Thomas. I'm Alaya Don Johnson. I'm Henry Lian. I'm Kay Tempest Bradford. I'm Yang Yang Wang. I'm Ebony Elizabeth Thomas. I'm Stephen Barnes. I am Andrea Hairston. Hey, I'm LeVar Burton, and today we are celebrating Octavia. All that you touch, you change. All that you change, changes you. The only lasting truth is change. God is change. Prodigy. Prodigy is, at its essence, adaptability and persistent positive obsession. Without persistence, what remains is an enthusiasm of the moment. Without adaptability, what remains may be channeled into destructive fanaticism. Without positive obsession, there is nothing at all. A gift of God may sear unready fingers. We shape God. We do not worship God. We perceive and attend God. We learn from God. With forethought and work, we shape God. In the end, we yield to God. We adapt and endure, for we are earth seed and God is change. God exists to be shaped. God is power, infinite, irresistible, inexorable, indifferent. And yet, God is pliable, trickster, teacher, chaos, clay. God exists to be shaped. God is change. Intelligence is adaptability. Intelligence is ongoing, individual adaptability. Adaptations that an intelligent species may make in a single generation, other species make over many generations of selective breeding and dying. Yet, intelligence is demanding. If it is misdirected by accident or by intent, it can foster its own orgies of breeding and dying. Belief initiates and guides action, or it does nothing. A victim of God may, through learning and adaptation, become a partner of God. A victim of God may, through forethought and planning, become a shaper of God. Or... A victim of God may, through short-sightedness and fear, remain God's victim, God's plaything, God's prey. Drowning people sometimes die fighting their rescuers. We are Earthseed. We are all God's seed, but no more or less so than any other aspect of the universe. God's seed is all there is, all that changes. Earth seed is all that spreads earth life to new earths. The universe is God's seed. Only we are earth seed, and the destiny of earth seed is to take root among the stars. The Paradox why is the universe to shape God? Why is God to shape the universe? A tree cannot grow in its parents' shadows. The destiny of earth seed is to take root among the stars. Power struggles. All struggles are essentially power struggles. Who will rule? Who will lead? Who will define 
refine, confine, design. Who will dominate? All struggles are essentially power struggles. And most are no more intellectual than two rams knocking their heads together. To get along with God, consider the consequences of your behavior. Civilization is to groups what intelligence is to individuals. It is a means of combining the intelligence of many to achieve ongoing group adaptation. Civilization, like intelligence, may serve well, may serve adequately, or fail to serve its adaptive function. When civilization fails to serve, it must disintegrate unless it is acted upon by unifying internal or external forces. When stability disintegrates. When stability disintegrates, as it must, God is change. People tend to give in to fear and depression, to need and greed. When no influence is strong enough to unify people, they divide. They struggle one against one, group against group, for survival, position, power. They remember old hates and generate new ones. They create chaos and nurture it. They kill and kill and kill until they are exhausted and destroyed, until they are conquered by outside forces, or until one of them becomes a leader most will follow, or a tyrant most fear. Any change may bear seeds of benefit. Seek them out. Any change may bear seeds of harm. Beware. God is infinitely malleable. God is change. All successful life. All successful life is adaptable, opportunistic, tenacious, interconnected, and fecund. Understand this. Use it. Shape God. We are earth seed. The life that precedes itself changing what a living world will demand there is no end to what a living world will demand of you earth life we are earth seed we are flesh self-aware questing problem solving flesh we are that aspect of earth life best able to shape god knowingly we are earth life maturing Earth life preparing to fall away from the parent world. We are earth life preparing to take root in new ground. Earth life fulfilling its purpose, its promise, its destiny. A phoenix, in order to rise from its own ashes, a phoenix first must burn. Any change may bear seeds of benefit. Seek them out. Any change may bear seeds of harm. Beware. God is infinitely malleable. God is change. Kindness eases change. Earth seed cast on new ground must first perceive that it knows nothing. Embrace diversity. Embrace diversity. Unite or be divided, robbed, ruled, killed by those who see you as prey. Embrace diversity or be destroyed. Once or twice each week, a gathering of Earthseed is a good and necessary thing. It vents emotion, then quiets the mind. It focuses attention, strengthens purpose, and unifies people. The galaxies changes. The galaxies move through space. The stars ignite 
burn, age, cool, evolving. God is change. God prevails. The rest of what we need. God is neither good nor evil, neither loving nor hating. God is power. God is change. We must find the rest of what we need within ourselves, in one another, in our destiny. The self must create its own reasons for being. To shape God, shape self. Sculptor and clay, as wind, as water, as fire, as life, God is both creative and destructive, demanding and yielding, sculptor and clay. God is infinite potential. God is change. Your teachers, your teachers are all around you. All that you perceive, all that you experience, all that is given to you or taken from you, all that you love or hate, need or fear will teach you if you will learn. God is your first and your last teacher. God is your harshest teacher, subtle, demanding, learn or die. Respect God, pray working, pray learning, planning, doing, pray creating, teaching, reaching, pray working, pray to focus your thoughts, steal your fears, strengthen your purpose, respect God, shape God, pray working. Create no images of God, except the images that God has provided. They are everywhere in everything. God is change, seed to tree, tree to forest, rain to river, river to sea, grubs to bees, bees to swarm. From one, many, from many, one. Forever uniting, growing, dissolving, forever changing. The universe is God's self-portrait. We are born. Here we are, energy, mass, life shaping life. Mind shaping mind, God shaping God. Consider, we are born not with purpose, but with potential. We give our dead to the orchards and the groves. We give our dead to life. Darkness gives shape to the light as light shapes the darkness. Death gives shape to life as life shapes death. The universe and God share this wholeness, each defining the other. God gives shape to the universe as the universe shapes God. Chaos is God's most dangerous face, amorphous, roiling, hungry. Shape chaos, shape God, act. Alter the speed or the direction of change. Vary the scope of change. Recombine the seeds of change. Transmute the impact of change. Seize change. Use it. Adapt and grow. Positive obsession. God is change. And in the end, God prevails. But meanwhile, kindness eases change. Love quiets fear. In a sweet and powerful positive obsession, blunts pain, diverts rage, and engages each of us in the greatest, the most intense of our chosen struggles. God is trickster. God is change. 
God is infinite, irresistible, inexorable, indifferent. God is trickster, teacher, chaos, clay. God is change. Beware. God exists to shape and to be shaped. Death. Death is a great change, is life's greatest change. We honor our beloved dead as we mix their essence with the earth. We remember them, and within us, they live. We have lived before. We have lived before. We will live again. We will be silk, stone, mind, star. We will be scattered, gathered, molded, probed. We will live and we will serve life. We will shape God and God will shape us again, always again, forevermore. To benefit your world, to shape God with wisdom and forethought, your people, your life, Consider consequences, minimize harm, ask questions, seek answers, learn, teach. The words of welcoming. These are the words of welcoming. We, your people, welcome you. We are Earthseed. You are Earthseed, one of many, one unique, one small seed, one great promise, tenacious of life, shaper of God, water, fire, sculptor, clay. You are Earthseed, and your destiny, the destiny of Earthseed, is to take root among the stars. Civilization. Civilization is to groups what intelligence is to individuals. Civilization provides ways of combining the information, experience, and creativity of the many to achieve ongoing group adaptability. Do not worship God. Inexorable God neither needs nor wants your worship. Instead, acknowledge and attend God. Learn from God with forethought and intelligence, imagination and industry. Shape God. When you must, yield to God, adapt and endure. For you are earth seed, and God is change. Unenlightened self-interest, beware. At war or at peace, more people die of unenlightened self-interest than of any other disease. God is change, and hidden within change is surprise, delight, confusion, pain, discovery, loss, opportunity, and growth. As always, God exists to shape and to be shaped. Paradise. The child in each of us knows paradise. Paradise is home, home as it was, or home as it should have been. Paradise is one's own place, one's own people, one's own world, knowing and known, perhaps even loving and loved. Yet every child is cast from paradise into growth and destruction, into solitude and new community, into vast, ongoing change. Partnership. Partnership is giving, taking, learning, teaching, offering the greatest possible benefit while doing the least possible harm. Partnership is mutualistic symbiosis. Partnership is life. Any entity 
Any process that cannot or should not be resisted or avoided must somehow be partnered. Partner one another. Partner diverse communities. Partner life. Partner any world that is your home. Partner God. Only in partnership can we thrive, grow, change. Only in partnership can we live. Purpose unifies us. It focuses our dreams, guides our plans, strengthens our efforts. Purpose defines us, shapes us, and offers us greatness. To make peace with others, make peace with yourself. Shape God with generosity and compassion. Minimize harm. Shield the weak. Treasure the innocent. Be true to the destiny. Forgive your enemies. Forgive yourself. Do the impossible. We can, each of us, do the impossible. As long as we can convince ourselves that it has been done before. Choose your leaders with wisdom and forethought. To be led by a coward is to be controlled by all that the coward fears. To be led by a fool is to be led by the opportunists who control the fool. To be led by a thief is to offer up your most precious treasures to be stolen. To be led by a liar is to ask to be told lies. To be led by a tyrant is to sell yourself and all those you love into slavery. Ignorance. Beware. Ignorance protects itself. Ignorance promotes suspicion. Suspicion engenders fear. Fear quails, irrational and blind, or fear looms, defiant and closed. Blind, closed, suspicious, afraid, ignorance protects itself. And protected, ignorance grows. When vision fails. When vision fails, direction is lost. When direction is lost, purpose may be forgotten. When purpose is forgotten, emotion rules alone. And when emotion rules alone, destruction, destruction. Self is, self is body and bodily perception. Self is thought, memory, belief. Self creates, self destroys. Self learns, discovers, becomes. Self shapes, self adapts, self invents its own reasons for being. To shape God, shape self. Immortal life. Take comfort. Each move towards the destiny, each achievement of the destiny, must mean new beginnings, new worlds, a rebirth of earth seed. Alone, each of us is mortal. Yet, through earth seed, through the destiny, we join, we are purposeful, immortal life. To explore the vastness, the destiny of earth seed is to take root among the stars. It is to live and to thrive on new earths. It is to become new beings and to consider new questions. It is to leap into the heavens again and again. It is to explore the vastness of heaven. It is to explore the vastness of ourselves. All prayers. All prayers are to self. And in one way or another, all prayers are answered. Pray, but beware your desires, whether or not you achieve them, will determine 
who you become. Beware. All too often, we say what we hear others say. We think what we're told that we think. We see what we're permitted to see. Worse, we see what we're told that we see. Repetition and pride are the keys to this. To hear and to see even an obvious lie again and again and again may be to say it, almost by reflex, then to defend it because we've said it, and at last to embrace it because we've defended it, and because we cannot admit that we've embraced and defended an obvious lie, thus without thought, without intent, we make mere echoes of ourselves, and we say what we hear others say. Rewards. All religions are ultimately cargo cults. Adherents perform required rituals, follow specific rules, and expect to be supernaturally gifted with desired rewards. Long life, honor, wisdom, children, good health, wealth, victory over opponents, immortality after death, any desired rewards. Earthseed offers its own rewards. Room for small groups of people to begin new lives and new ways of life with new opportunities, new wealth, new concepts of wealth, new challenges to grow and learn and to decide what to become. Earthseed is the dawning adulthood of the human species. It offers the only true immortality. It enables the seeds of the earth to become the seeds of new life, new communities on new earth. The destiny of Earthseed is to take root among the stars and there again to grow, to learn, and to fly. Are you Earthseed? Do you believe? Belief will not save you. Only actions guided and shaped by belief and knowledge will shape you. Belief initiates and guides action or it does nothing. To survive, let the past teach you. Past customs, struggles, leaders and thinkers. Let these help you. Let them inspire you, warn you, give you strength, but beware, God is change. Past is past. What was cannot come again. To survive, know the past. Let it touch you. Then let the past go. Nature. There's nothing alien about nature. Nature is all that exists. It's the earth and all that's on it. It's the universe and all that's in it. It's God never at rest. It's you, me, us, them, struggling upstream or drifting down. Earthseed is adulthood. It's trying our wings, leaving our mother, becoming men and women. We've been children, fighting for the full breasts, the protective embrace, the soft lap. Children do this, but Earthseed is adulthood. Adulthood is both sweet and sad. It terrifies, it empowers. We are men and women now. We are Earthseed. 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 And the destiny of 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 Earthseed. Is to take root. Is to take root is to take root, is to take root among the stars.